Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new episode of Marketing Inside, the marketing show where we get all the ins and outs of the big multinationals. And this week with us, it's American Express, a very big company who has just announced that they are going to release a new credit card into the United Kingdom. And of course, we would like to get all the insights on that. So please go, hop along and let's talk to some people. <laughs> And our first guest of today is Katharina Köhler. Katharina, welcome. Thank you for having me here today. Yeah, no problem. Uh, can you please tell me what you do for American Express? I'm currently in charge of the content marketing strategy at American Express UK. Mm -hmm. This also includes customer feedback and reactions according to our social media platform. Yeah, all right. Can you give like a little insight on how that works? Like what sure. platforms are you on? So we mainly focus on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Right. So for YouTube, we have different categories where we post small clips regarding, for example, um, the upcoming Somerset uh, London Festival. Is that one of the marketing strategies you would like Yeah, on so the um, on YouTube, we have the issue that uh, we cannot get any comments as we deactivated them. Yeah. Um, so maybe we can improve that. We can see, although, how many people viewed our video, when, um, how many people liked the video. Yeah. And on um, Twitter, we can also see if people retweeted or if they posted comments yeah. on it, as well as um, if we get thumbs up or some down, for, for example. Or... Yes, on Facebook. How do like current customers respond to that? Like, are they satisfied in common or are they disappointed in what you're doing right now? Or are they? So this actually ranges from uh, positive to negative feedback, right? So as any other strategy. So we receive quite a nice feedback, for example, stars post in front of our um, nice op new opening of a new restaurant. They say, oh great, I want to visit that. Or if we go, for example, to a more negative aspect that of the data breach we just uh, posted on Twitter, of course our customers are concerned yeah, sure. and they uh, re-question, um, for example, oh, have you fixed that issue so far? For example, that we say, oh, we're going to use Google Play and this we also post it on Facebook and then they ask if they also use, oh, is it available if you use it for Apple Pay, for example. So it's actually more a combination between feedback, um, questioning, and also negative, of course, um, questioning why we use, for example, just one specific hotel. Yeah. So, or why we not use a different one. Yes. All right. Perfect. Thank you very much. Our next guest is uh, Cedric Rome. Cedric, welcome. Yes, great to see you, Robin. Thanks no for problem. having me. No problem. Welcome. Uh, you're planning on improving digital marketing further, correct? Like for American yes, Express. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, through our content marketing audit, we found some significant uh, gaps in our digital marketing strategy. Um, as you probably know, most of our customers nowadays are um, middle-aged to uh, older people, yeah. uh, demographic-wise. Um, so now we want to attract more younger people through our digital marketing efforts, especially um, a customer segment we are especially interested in is the uh, yuppie generation, like young urban professionals, yeah, right. because um, we really see a strategic fit there with our company as they are... Um, well, they're living a lifestyle that um, fits our company's strategy really well, you know, they travel a lot, they appreciate the fine things in life, they um, earn significant amounts of money so they can um, have like an, a revenue impact True. which True. is uh, beneficial to our yeah. company. We think that if we um, focus our digital marketing strategy more on the um, yuppie group and um, customize our content towards them, yeah. um, that will attract them. We know that um, they have a significant um, interest in additional value um, apart from our uh, cards, so they want yeah. us to provide additional value to them. And we think that we can do that by um, having a uh, target segment. Yeah, um, like the platforms you named, like Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, yeah, exactly. etc. Like yeah. That's the way to address those people? Yes, I think so, because we can, for example, let's uh, look at YouTube first. Mm -hmm. We have, um, we plan to launch a new YouTube channel for our oh, wow. um, Yuppie That's a scoop right customers. There. Exactly. <laughs> and um, what we are planning to do is provide them with um, advice regarding personal finance and career. Yeah. Um, which is really beneficial to them, you know, it is free of charge, it isn't, and for us it is a very easy first point of contact, you know, yeah. because um, it Videos. is, yeah, exactly, so we just try to get 
to make them you know get to know the American Express brand and appreciate it and um, through other measures like Instagram we think that uh, that is just ideal to promote like the yuppie lifestyle yeah, you exactly. know and we can just associate our brand with that through influencers for example we can just enhance the desire for our cards and um, make them kind of like a must-have item you know yeah, for every yuppie. Facebook and Twitter as exactly well. yeah. and um, yeah um, just what something very interesting we're also planning is um, the launch of a new brand with a associated to a to a website which will be called um the young the mx young gold club mm -hmm. um what we are planning to do with that is that we are just going to promote a series of networking in events um especially targeted towards young urban professionals that is our new plan uh regarding digital marketing strategy. thank you very much our next guest this afternoon is Antoine. Antoine, welcome. Good afternoon, Robin. Hello. Uh, you're not working for Amex in particular, but you're like an external consultant, am I right? Oh yeah, exactly. Actually, I'm, I'm an external consultant and uh, my objective uh, for Amex is um, doing a new campaign for the digital marketing uh, content. Yeah. Yeah. All right. How did you support Amex in a way like, oh, to get um, there? What did you do? Oh, the real steps. Okay. Yeah. Um, actually, um, uh, our plan like uh, for the future is to launch a campaign that is unfolding in a six month plan, a schedule. For further, we want to like um, um, introduce um, new videos, we want to introduce um, some new marketing, we want to um, like um, reveal a date first, yeah. and not the company yet, because that's what comes after in the next step. And the next month after, we will reveal the, the new product, so the cover card, as you said, yeah. and uh, we will launch a new website that will be pretty interesting because uh, people will be even more uh, attracted to that idea. They will think, what is Amex launching? Um, so let me quickly summarize, yeah, like so after three months, you just released the company name, and yeah, then after uh, that, you're gonna release the new card, and the that's exactly that. Yeah, thing. yeah and um, our plan for after that is just to like, um, uh, advertise it further and mm -hmm. um, launch a pre-order uh, campaign so that people can order and we will like uh, strengthen it with some uh, influencers on yeah. Instagram, YouTube and, and other social media and then launch um, finally uh, the after product six months. after six months exactly like in a big event that will um, make uh, itself um, like a uh, big on the social media people yeah. will really talk about it it will be some really great thing and as I'm saying it's just the short term but our plan is the long term it's the long-term one that interest. Um, of course, you want to. Amex, of customers. course, yeah, yeah. So we want to keep the customers like um, really s that they stick to the company that they they at first um, really they're into the family, the, the Amex family, mm -hmm. so that they can stick for the longest time. They get like a lot of benefits, for example, discounts on flights, discounts on a lot of things, and that's ex exactly what we want to give them. Can't wait! You got me excited. Ah, uh, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, very you much. Robin. Yeah, Antoine. Our fourth guest of this afternoon is uh, Polly Lung, and she has everything to do with the, the release of the new Cobalt card. Polly, welcome. Thank you for having me. No problem, no problem. Um, quick introduction. What have you worked on? What have you been working yeah, on? So, my name is Polly, and I was the uh, project manager for the Cobalt card launch uh, in American Express Canada. So, uh, we realized that we were missing a big uh, segment and opportunity towards the um, millennial generation. And so we created a card that is by millennials for millennials and it rewards them for what they're already doing. So, yeah. All right, and what was like the development of the card like? I think it's a bit different in the UK than in Canada, yeah, am I right? for sure. Uh, American Express headquarters realized that um, the millennial generation is going to be a huge part of the high spend category that we've always been focusing on as part of American Express. So we wanted to work to develop a card that would target the most millennials in the most effective way. So we developed a card that we really thought um, reached these two barriers that were really limiting our reach to millennials. And uh, one of them is our subscription model where we're making the card not without that uh, premium price point and we're making it as affordable as your monthly sub Spotify subscription. And the secondly is that we found that millennials wanted to be rewarded for the little things, not just for the big end of year travel plans. So they want to be rewarded for their everyday purchases. So if they want to use their points towards the next coffee or their Uber or just for their weekend night out at the movies, they can do as such. 
Thank you very much, Polly, and thank you all for watching this episode of Marketing Inside. I would like to thank all my guests, not only Polly, but also Katrina, Antoine, and Cedric for being here. And next week up, it will be Zalando. See you all then. Yeah.